Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what are device groups in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Well, in an enterprise scenario, security operation teams are typically assigned a set of devices. These devices are grouped together based on a set of attributes such as their domains, computer names or designated tags. In Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, you can create device groups and then you can use those device groups to limit access to related alerts configure different auto remediation settings, assign specific remediation levels to apply for different set of devices, assign specific remediation level to apply during automation investigations. In an investigation, filter the devices list to specific device groups by using the group filter. We can create device groups in the context of RBAC to control who can take specific actions or see information by assigning the devices to a user group. As part of the process of creating a device group, you will set the automated remediation level for that group. You will specify the matching rule that determines which device group belongs to the group based on the device name, domain, tags, OS platform. If a device is also matched to other groups, it's added only to the highest ranked device group. You can select the Azure AD user group that should have access to that device group. How to create a device group? I will log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, I am logged on to the portal. So when you are on the uh, portal, you go to the settings, you select endpoints, then under permissions, you select device groups. This is my lab setup, so I don't have any device group. You can click on add a device group. You can mention Windows 10. You set the remediation level. Let's say I go with no automated response, description, click on next, and then specify the matching rule that determines which devices belong to this group. You can, you can set the name, domain, tag, OS, anything that you want, and then you will preview the devices. Let's say I will say name, starts with W and I can do next, show preview, it will show you the list, whatever it finds on onto this tenant that uh, from all the devices right this is just a test that you can do and then you can click on next user access access to the devices in the group so assign the user groups that can access the device group you created you can only grant access to azure ad users that have been assigned the rbac rules and then you click on submit and you will be able to create it you click on done and that is how you create a device group. So I hope this video was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.